In this video, we're going to take a look at getting started with Revoice Pro 5 in Persona Studio One. If you're looking for more feature-specific in-depth videos, these can be found on our website. Let's get started. So let's have a listen to the tracks that we're going to be working with. Okay, so all in all, great sounding tracks. That being said, I do want to make some adjustments to both the tuning and the timing. So as of the time that I'm doing this video, the custom menu integration that we see from within Studio One, Edit with Revoice Pro, this is actually connected to the legacy Revoice Pro link plugin. That being said, this is something that will be changed at a later date. So in the meantime, let's head over to the Browse tab, and under the Effects section, we can scroll down and we find the Revoice Pro link plugin. Now I'm going to highlight both of these audio events and let's click, hold and drag and drop Revoice Pro Link onto both events. Now from within this plugin, we can start Revoice Pro. And also if we make sure that both events are highlighted, we have the ability to capture audio. So now we'll click the show Revoice tab. And as you can see over here, these audio tracks have been loaded in. I'm just gonna extend my track header width a little bit. And the first thing that we need to do is tune this lead vocal. So I'm going to go to tracks and let's auto size track heights just so we can maximize our screen real estate a little bit. And then I'm going to solo out the lead vocal and let's go full screen. I'm going to right click and let's adjust pitch timing level. This will allow us to make any tuning or timing adjustments that we need to make. Now there's a lot of different ways that we can approach tuning when working from within Revoice. One really easy way that we can do this is simply by clicking Alt or Option W. This will automatically tune the entire performance to 100%. And this is, of course, based on the sung performance in relation to a chromatic grid in this case. That being said, I'm going to undo and let's take a look at some manual tuning functions that we have from within Revoice. If we highlight across a pitch block, notice that we have these different control points. If we scroll down to the bottom right, we have the ability to dial up a correction amount from zero to 100%. If we scroll to the bottom left, we can adjust the drift and you can see the pitch trace changing in real time as we do that. We also have the ability to make level adjustments. So if you needed to bring a pitch block either up or down, that's something that we can do. And on the very top over here, we have the ability to flatten out a pitch trace if we wanted to make something sound a little bit more synthetic or we can actually increase this for the opposite effect. So we could accentuate this or exaggerate this. We can also click, hold and drag. And we have the ability to move to different pitches or a double click to snap this to 100%. And at any given point in time, we can right click and we have the ability to reset selected notes and we can reset all changes. So I think the approach I'm gonna take with this vocal though is I'm going to use the Command A to select everything. We will right click and let's choose the Center Notes tool. This gives us a percentage slider and it allows us to dial up an amount of pitch correction that applies to everything. So let's start off with this. And what I'm going to do is let's just have a listen to these results. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Yeah, again, guess I need somebody, but... Okay, so that sounded good. The only thing I'm noticing that's off here is this one note. So let's scroll this into view. I'm gonna right click, let's choose the cutter tool. We'll put a little separation over here. We'll right click again, go back to the selector tool, and I'm gonna double click to snap those notes to 100%. So let's continue listening. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Okay, perfect. So, for sake of demonstration, let's say that we're happy with this end result. What I want to do now is I want to use all the tuning I've done here as a starting point, and we want to apply any tuning or timing to the male lead vocal. So let's come out of solo. And now I'm going to click the B key and this brings up the new process panel. So from within here, we're going to create a match process where we can match timing, pitch, or level. Now I'm gonna use selected audio and in terms of presets, I'll navigate to a recently used preset that will apply the timing and pitch of the lead to the guide. And then the tracks have already been added. The lead vox female is the guide track and the lead vox male is the dub track. Let's go ahead and create this new process. Now let's take a listen to the before and after. We'll listen to the original. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. And then after. 
Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. And one of the best things about working with an ARA based DAW is that once you've done your work within Revoice, we hop back into our timeline and we can listen to everything in context. Okay, so I'm really happy with those results. I think the next thing I want to do is actually render these. I'm gonna select the events in Studio One. And as long as you have your inspector open, you can see in the bottom here, we have the ability to render. I want you to keep your eye on this waveform as I click the render. Watch as we see the timing changes getting rendered. You can see the subtle slight differences as the two of those audio files align. And now let's go ahead and do the same thing with our lead vocal. So now any tuning changes that we made to the female lead vocal have been rendered in as well. Now before we go, there's one last thing I want to do. I'm going to hop back into Revoice Pro. And there's this section here at the very end where we have this one note. And what I'm kind of hearing in my head is a double that's happening just over this one note. If we listen to this right over here. Again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the B key to call up the new process panel. But this time, instead of a match process, I'm going to choose a doubler process. I'm going to make a highlighted range selection across the top here. And this has changed the input start and end to the selected playback range. Now I'm going to choose Stereo Vocal Mild, which is one of my favorite presets whenever I'm working with a doubler. And then Leadvox Female is our input track. And let's create that new process. Now we can addition all of these together. Again. Okay, perfect. So that's just on that last note. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to get this audio file into the Studio One timeline. So first, I'm going to change this track to stereo. And now if we hold down Shift and Alter Option, and we click, hold, and drag, and we drop this in Studio One, notice we get this spot dialog. Let's spot this to the original position, and we'll click OK. So now this has been spotted in at the very end over here. And if we play all three of these together, again, that sounds good just for that one last note. So let's take a listen to the final result. So that's using Revoice Pro 5 with Persona Studio One. More in-depth tutorials on these features and more can be found on our website. Thanks for watching.